atrial fibrillation with slow ventricular rate. In this ECG, fine fibrillary waves are seen throughout the baseline indicating fine atrial fibrillation. When the fibrillary waves are more than 1 mm in amplitude, they can be considered as coarse atrial fibrillation. Coarse atrial fibrillation usually indicates larger reentrant circuits and hence larger atria. Coarse atrial fibrillation is classically seen in mitral stenosis with large left atrium. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In this case with fine atrial fibrillary waves, the ventricular rate is not high as in usual atrial fibrillation in which ventricular rates are over 120 per minute. The QRS complexes are narrow and there is slight rightward deviation of axis with small negative complexes in AVL. Tall R waves are noted in V5 and poor R waves in V1 and V2. There is no significant ST segment or T wave abnormality. Slow ventricular rate in AF indicates that the atrial fibrillary signals are mostly blocked at the AV node and prevented from being conducted to the ventricles. This can happen if the AV node is diseased due to ischemia or degenerative disease. In acute inferior wall myocardial infarction, AF is often associated with slow ventricular rate due to ischemia of the AV node, which often recovers after the acute phase. But the AF also disappears by that time. Another situation for slow ventricular rate in AF is with six sinus syndrome having structural nodal disease of binodal variety. Slow ventricular rate in AF can occur if the AV node is suppressed by drugs like digoxin, beta blockers or non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers like verapamil or diltiazem. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.